Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, yesterday I made a whole bunch of videos, one of which was about uh, the justice system and how Dorothy Bain, the uh, Lord Advocate, is sitting as part of the cabinet in the SNP government. And therefore, the executive, the SNP government, the executive, have subsumed the judiciary into their powers. Uh, and, and yet it should not have done. In every major democracy, the three pillars of state are all separate and independent of each other. It appears that in Scotland that is not the case and that in Scotland the SNP own the judiciary. This is a very bad state of affairs. That was a video I made at around, I made it around three o'clock. Uh, although it didn't go out until six because I, I pre-did them and, and scheduled them. At about 4.15 yesterday evening, I did a flash video. Uh, somebody had phoned me and told me that Michael Matheson was going to be investigated by the police. And they confirmed it and the, my source was good. So I did a quick flash one minute video showing that uh, Michael Matheson was going to be arrested and questioned and that I would bring you the report today. The fact, of course, that the justice system is owned by the SNP has changed everything. We're going to look at two headlines that tell you why Scotland is no longer a good and proper place in which to live and it is now a police state controlled exclusively by a single party. Here goes. Now this is an example of where good viewers, sub, you know, sub sources came to me before the story came out. Uh, I was told that the police were launching the probe into Matheson uh, before it hit the papers, uh, simply because one of you good viewers told me and I happen to know that that person would be uh, worthy of listening to. Let's just say the source was good. And it turns out that the source is good. Police launch probe into Michael Matheson over an £11,000 data roaming bill. But as I mentioned, Dorothy Bain, the chief prosecutor, the person who is basically in charge of Scottish justice, sits on the SNP cabinet. So how is this uh, a thing? Surely old Dorothy could do something about that. Dorothy could, uh, could change things, surely. That's why you have the Justice Secretary uh, and, the, uh, and the Lord Advocate sitting within your cabinet. You don't want things like this. You don't want potential PD uh, ministers being caught, do you? You don't want potential fraud being brought to light. And so what do you do? Well, you do this. Police dismiss complaint about Michael Matheson over the £11,000 roaming bill for now. Within minutes of the complaint being laid and where the, uh, where the police are about to investigate it, Something magical happens. And that police complaint disappears. Nobody wants to know. We mustn't look at an SMP minister because, hey, even if he is a PD fraudster, we don't want to know. I'm not saying he is a PD fraudster, you understand. I'm just saying the public perception is that he is a fraudulent thief who likes to watch children in those kind of videos. I'm not saying that's what he is. I'm just saying that's what people will believe now. And of course, the police are now conniving to protect him. Police Scotland have dismissed a complaint into Michael Matheson's £11,000 data roaming charge after an official complaint was made to the force. It is understood it was related to alleged fraud. Let's change that. Let's make the complaint alleged PD activity, alleged watching of uh, kiddie 
fiddler material. Will they dismiss that as well? The new revelation will, pearl, will pile further pressure on Hamza Youssef and also the Scottish Government's Health Secretary, who has dodged questions about the scandal. He agreed to pay back the huge bill after critics questioned how he managed to rack it up on a seven-day Christmas holiday to Morocco. Well, we know how he racked it up. Massively extensive masturbatory pleasure, one suspects. Mr Matheson blamed the cost on his failure to switch out his old parliamentary sim to his new one. We don't care. We've covered this. We don't care. The story here is that after receiving a complaint, opening the investigation, it was immediately shut down by the government because the government own the judiciary. And I did the video yesterday about how Dorothy Bain, the most senior legal representative, sits in the SNP Council. They're marking their own homework and they're protecting their own degenerate freeloaders. A man who's put in a fraudulent claim of £11,000, probably from watching the most awful kind of videos, and he doesn't want to go to jail, but thankfully, in the SNP Scotland, he doesn't have to. He just has a quiet word and Dorothy Bain closes down the police investigation. This is an absolute abuse of the worst kind. You cannot guarantee justice in Scotland because the SNP own the police. The SNP own the judiciary. The SNP own everything. This is a man whose iPad may or may not contain the worst kind of degenerate videos and who he will never be brought to book. But we don't need, we don't need a court to judge him. We shall judge him. This is a man who I believe I would treat as I'm not saying he is, no evidence of it, and I, I understand that he is not a paedophile, but I shall certainly think of him as one, and I should certainly treat him as one. This is a man who likes to watch those sort of videos, which is why he's doing everything in his can to stop that iPad becoming uh, the subject of an investigation. He's not a paedophile. He doesn't watch those things but people think he does and why because he won't hand it over now murdo fraser has threatened uh the uh what's the word the the vote of no confidence i think you absolutely have to bring this vote of no confidence in when even the police are told by the smp please god don't investigate this man don't embarrass him don't embarrass the party. Do as you're told or we'll cut your budgets. The day of reckoning is coming. And I think that this massive, massive fraud by him will come to light. But potentially also the awfulness of what he was watching, I think, will also come to light. Dirty, disgusting, degenerate tosser. Coming up. There is the saying, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. But he is hiding this. He is desperate to keep this covered because he knows how much trouble he's in. Now, I am not saying that he is any kind of peedy, kiddy, fiddler or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the complete opposite. I'm saying he's actually probably not. But only probably not, because we'll never know. We don't know what's on that iPad. But he's probably definitely a fraudster. He's probably definitely someone who's trying to steal public money and claim it as purely governmental and constituency work. And yet you know, at that level of usage, 
it's got to be video. Absolutely has to be video. And therefore, it's only a case of what exactly was he watching? How young were they? Were there animals involved? Who knows? All he has to do is hand it over, let it be inspected and show that it was just fraud. And not fraud and the worst kind of crime. Now, he's trying to keep his name clear. The SNP are backing him up to make sure that he's not seen in a bad light. I don't think anyone in Scotland now will look at that man and think anything else other than PD. Never mind, it's his choice. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I shall speak to you later.